my Walgreens and Rite Aid couponing trip that I did on Saturday. So at Walgreens, I had a ring check for this Cottonelle Fresh Care cloth. They are $3.49 regular price with the ring check made at $1.99 each. I picked up two of them made at $3.98. Now the $1 instant value coupon, which looks like this, it beeped. So um, we all know we go by with the wording, not the picture, but I think at Walgreens, we, they go by both the wording and the picture. So the cashier gets the manager, and I told her about the situation, and um, she said that she'll honor it this one time. And I got two of them for $0.99, cents, which made it $1.98. I forgot to redeem points, and I forgot to bring in the right coupon for the um, Connell wipes. So, um, yeah, I did have to pay $1.98, and after tax was two twelve. So, um, yeah, and I'm not going to go through the process of returning the coupon and doing a post-coupon sale since now it's against Walgreens policy to do that. But I did, however, got the $2 register reward for purchasing two of them. And I also called in Walgreens customer service and they decided since it wasn't worth going through all that hassle to return the product, rescan the item, doing the price modify and all that other mess, they decided to credit me 3,000 points. So it was still free and a money maker on that. And with this $2 coupon, I found this at Walmart for a dollar on the Neutrogena Men product. They are on clearance, regular price, probably 8 or $9. And, um, you know, I was going through the coupon database trying to find out a coupon. And so um, that was the only coupon that I could find. But um, in Walmart's coupon policy, it has to be a specific price on, on the item in order for me to... Um, for them to consider it as a competitor coupon. So, um, you know, if Walmart would accept the Walgreens coupon, you know, it would have been a dollar money maker. But hopefully, if there is a um, coupon insert, I believe that there is one, but I'm not so sure if I could use it. It's a $2 off a two manufacturer coupon found in the 727 Smart Source. So since each one of them is a dollar, you know, I would actually get back, um, get the item for free. And uh, I don't think I can use it on the Neutrogena Men product. So I'll look through and see if there's any other coupons out there. But um, I just wanted to point that out that it was on clearance and, you know, a you know, dollar is great, but, you know, free or... A money maker is even better. So at Rite Aid, I had wanted to decided to um, get the CoverGirl eyeshadow because there was an up reward attached, and I actually had some up reward that was going to expire next Saturday on the sixth of September. So um, I want to roll my up reward. And actually, I wasn't trying to do the eye extravaganza deal at first. But since 508 was already tracking prior to last week, I decided, hey, um, I might as well finish off doing this deal. So um, I picked up four of the CoverGirl eyeshadows. They are buy one, get one half off. They bring up for $3.39 and $1.69 each. And um, I had the 3 Alpha 2 Low 2 Card Coupon as well as the $1 Manufacturer Coupon. Now, I know I would have, um, I had another 3 Alpha 2, but I already used it somewhere else, so um, it would have been even better. But, um, yeah, I, or the $1 Alpha 1 Low 2 Card Coupon or what, however it goes. But um, I didn't have it with me, so I was able to save $4 off my order. So I also picked up this Revlon eyeshadow. They are $3.29 with silver discount, made it 
96 and then I had a two dollar internet printable which made it 96 cents I also picked up two of the Revlon Color Stay eyeliner they are buy one get one 50 percent off which made it 7.99 and 3.99 and I brought in two one dollar off of one tear pack coupons that I found at another Rite Aid store for this product so I got it for 6.99 and 2.99 for um, both of those products so um, at the end um, somehow the items that I purchased didn't correspond with the coupons that I used, but um, I did give the wellness card first, and then have them scan the item, and then gave them my coupons. I think um, how it goes is that you have the cashier or manager scan all the items first, and then give them the coupons, and then give them the wellness card. So I gave... $16 an up reward and that last $1 tear pack coupon that I gave um, she had to put in manually so um, my subtotal was $1.10 and I had to pay $2.83 with sales tax and it would have been a dollar less if I had another $1 CoverGirl coupon which I didn't and then I got back $14 in up reward, which I lost two of them, which I was okay with that. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching.